It even added snow. No way. Have you guys seen the new Photoshop update? If you're a wedding photographer, I can guarantee you, you're gonna love this new update. Let's go ahead and take a look into it. So the first thing that we do is open Photoshop beta, click new file, custom. And if it gives it to you something like this, we're gonna go ahead and click crop tool and we can extend our clipboard. So when we drop our image, we have some space to work on. We're gonna start with this image right here. So I'm gonna select my rectangular marquee tool to go ahead and click like almost like 90, 85% of the image. And then I'm gonna select this button right here that will allow me to invert the selection. Once I invert the selection, I can go ahead and select generative fill. And I'm gonna go ahead and allow generative fill to do it by itself without me writing anything. Now we're gonna wait a few seconds. First, we can see there are a few imperfections. So let's go ahead and, and see number two. Number three. I don't like any of them. So let's go ahead and do it again. Let's go ahead and select this. Select inverse. Generate. Okay. Two. Okay, this one looks better. So now we have something like this starting to look better, right? Let's go ahead and now select this square right here. And I mean, it's just amazing. That's just with one click. It's not like I'm doing some extra work. I'm just letting AI work by itself. So I'm just going to put here a uh, cement floor. Actually, I'm just going to leave it blank and let it generate. It's great. Now we see these tree right here that it's it, i'm not sure what it is if it's a tree or it's an attempt of a lamp but let's go ahead and select it and as generative fill generate to try to fix that portion of the image and that's pretty much it we went from this to this and i mean i think it's a great tool for writing photographers to add it uh, as a package i see that happening in the future this is a new tool, remember, we haven't even seen the first update. Well, we've seen like bug updates, but not like an actual update to generate and fix an image. So this is like the first brand new update of Photoshop beta, which allows you to go ahead and generate the rest of the image. But imagine one month from now, imagine three months from now, how far this will go. Let's go ahead and take a look at this second image that I have right now. And I'm going to select this part of the image, invert, generative fill, generate. Let's just wait a few seconds. And that's it. It just generated the rest of the image. It's just amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look at another image. This is a wedding that I did a couple months back. So I'm going to go ahead and extend our clipboard so we can get more room to work. I'm gonna center my image. Now I'm gonna be, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and select what I want to keep. Select inverse, generative fill, generate. Now let's go ahead and see the results. What? I mean, it's just, just amazing, I mean, this part looks like, of course, it was generated, but look at this one. This one looks gray besides this window. So now what we're going to do is we're going to select this area right here, generative fill, generate, and let's see what we get. Okay, got rid of that window. That, that works. Now let's go ahead and try with a different image. So I have this image right here. I'm going to be doing the same thing. Generative fill, generate, and let's see what we get. This one, this one looks really, really cool. I mean, um, let's go ahead and fix this part because I feel like it, it looks kind of weird. But besides that, look, look at what it did. I mean, I can guarantee you that I give them this picture, they won't, they won't even realize that it's that it's fake generated. I definitely see myself using this and kind of giving extra to clients. Uh, extra new generated photos at first and then eventually incorporate it as part of a package if I can. Why not? Now let's go ahead and try to do a building. 
So I have this building right here. So let's go ahead and see what it can do. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, the first one and the second one I really like a lot. But the second one looks too fake for me. So let's go ahead and try to fix this. And generative fill, generate. Let's see what it generates again. Now we just wait. It even added snow. No way. Just, just wow. I definitely see myself using this tool a lot more often. And even offering it to clients. I'll probably offer it for free at first. See how it works. Then start chipping it in, you know, and just playing with it a, a bit more. And I see the capabilities and the things that it can do. It just amazes me. But hey, I mean, if you learned something, let me know in the comment section. What are your thoughts about this? Let me know if you like it. If you think this is a tool uh, photographers can use more often and you see the potential of this tool or if you think it's just garbage. But let me know your opinions. Thank you so much for watching again, guys. Take care.